you want to create professional looking video like this, but you've only got a small space, small budget, and you want big results. Can it be done? Well, yes, of course it can. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much point to this video. And that's what I did. I built a mini studio that makes you look good. Just as good in a tiny room as it does in a, a huge studio. And the best part is, not only does it take up like zero floor space, it's not expensive and it's actually pretty easy to set up. During lockdown, I got a call from a friend who was, he was forced to work from home like a lot of us was, which meant he had to do everything via Zoom. The problem was with this guy's flat, it was so tiny, you didn't even have room to swing a cat. And he had just enough room for a single desk and that was pretty much about it. And being a coach, he needed to look really good on video. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Now I'd seen this done before. I'd seen a few people build video setups using a single pole mounted to a desk before. And after watching a few YouTube videos, I noticed a few problems that would like stump a lot of people. They all involved a degree of DIY, drilling, using bolts, all kinds of stuff like that. Stuff that you might not want to do. So the challenge that I set for myself was to build a studio that would, it would fit on a standard desk, work in any size room and take up like zero floor space. So that meant absolutely no tripods and it's got to require no DIY and only use parts that were readily available. Oh, and of course, the quality of the video had to be first rate. So challenge accepted, I'll have it done in 24 hours. I opened up the iPad and I started to draft out some ideas. So I went online, bought a load of stuff, all wrong, threw it away, bought more, made more plans, bought even more stuff. And through trial and error, I ended up with a, a pretty good solution that anyone can put together. So here's what I ended up with. And here's how I built it. And of course, I'm also going to leave links to all the stuff that I use below. Now, the first thing that we're going to need is a pole that clamps to a desk, like one of these monitor poles. But the problem is, since we're going to be mounting a light to this pole, it's got to be tall enough. Now, most monitor poles, they're just way too short. And second, it's got to be strong. I mean, we're going to be mounting everything to this one pole. The one that I found was this one, and it's like 39 inches tall. And it's also got a really good clamp that fixes to the desk. Next, I wanted a way to fix the camera to the pole, but I still wanted to be able to adjust it. I bought an array of different arms, different clamps, and none really did the job. And then it dawned on me. The monitor stand had come with an adjustable arm, which I'd thrown away in the bin. So after retrieving the arm from the bin, washing it, then washing it again, I fixed the arm to the stand. But before I got round to mounting the camera, I wanted to figure out what one single light would illuminate the whole room, give a nice soft light with no harsh shadows or hot spots. I bought a few different lights, but found the fans to be noisy since everything was just so close. Eventually, I came across the solution. And the light I went for was the Godex UL60. It's well built and best of all, it's really quiet because it's got no fun. And I also got this lovely globe diffuser, fills the whole room with this really nice soft light. So I've got the light, but now I've got to fix it right to the top of the pole. And it is quite heavy. And the last thing I want is for it to come crashing down. So drawing on my last flash of inspiration, I pop over to Amazon again and bought a spare monitor arm. Fix the arm right to the top of the pole and then attach the super clamp to the arm and then attach the light to the super clamp. And the benefit here, apart from it being really secure, is I can also use this to adjust the position of the light. Next, I got thinking about audio. Now, when it comes to audio, what I didn't want, I didn't want the mic in the frame. So I went for a shotgun mic. Now I could have just fixed the mic to the top of the camera, but the problem with doing that is the mic is just too far away. You see, for a mic to sound good, what you've got to do, you've got to get it close to your mouth. So I needed a way to get it closer. So back to Amazon again, and I got one of these Manfrotto adjustable arms and I fixed another super clamp to the pole and then inserted the arm into the super clamp, fixed the mic to it and then adjusted it. So now I've just got to attach the camera 
and I'm going to attach that to the monitor arm, the one that I retrieved out of the bin. The smell, almost gone. And because I've attached the monitor arm to the pole, I can now use another super clamp, fix that to the arm, stick on the ball head, and then attach the camera. And now I can position the camera anywhere I like. And after making a few small adjustments to the position of the camera and the mic, this is what I ended up with. Now, as compact as this setup is, the question is, would it work? Would having just one single light still give me the cinematic look? Is having everything on just one stand gonna give the same results as having everything positioned separately? Well, this is what it looks like. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, I've only gone through the basics of setting this up. And since this video, I've made a few amendments, a few adjustments. And in case you're interested, I've just released a course that not only shows you how to set all this up in detail, but it also shows you everything that you need to know about looking pro on video. And that's why I call it the Pro Video Bootcamp. So for all the equipment that I've used in this video, I'll leave links below and I'll also leave a link to my course in case you do want to check that out. So until next time, bye for now.